In coffee beverages, surfactants make bubbles less likely to burst because they reduce the surface tension between milk and the air. Low surface tension means more elasticity in a foam. For example, if you try to stretch a bubble surrounded by liquid, you reduce the concentration of surfactant around the bubble. This raises the surface tension, which requires a lot of energy. But when you've got the right amount of surfactant, the system is more likely to spring back to its original size rather than bursting. Elastic foams with low surface tension gives the latte artist more time to pour while making the pattern last longer. The principal surfactant in milk foam is a whey protein called beta-lactoglobulin. In milk foams, it is the beta-lactoglobulin that makes the bubbles very elastic. Imagine each foam cell was a brand new rubber balloon. So if you push it or squeeze it, it deforms, but then quickly recovers its shape. And when the foam is freshly made, it can easily respond to stresses without bursting. Smaller bubbles are better and wetter. When there is less surface tension to start with, then you need less surfactant to stabilize the foam. And milk foams with a very small average bubble diameter have less surface tension, usually because they're wetter. The reason they are wetter is because liquid takes longer to drain out between the closely packed matrix of tiny bubbles compared with when there is just a few larger bubbles. But wetter foams are not just great for latte art. They benefit the flavor and texture of a coffee beverage as well because they feel richer on the palate. Start learning with a BH Unlimited subscription and challenge yourself with 15 separate certifications. Extend your professional knowledge, develop new recipes and take part in experiments with the most affordable and comprehensive coffee education system in the world. No upfront fees, access all our courses, apps, videos and calculators with one monthly subscription and work through the courses at a pace that suits you.